Hi there, my name is Paulina and I'll try to guide you through the Opportunity Solution Tree template. So it's a visual framework that helps product teams systematically explore and prioritize opportunities to solve different problems. It was popularized by Teresa Torres and it's like very simple and nice one. Um, why is it called Tree, like Opportunity Solution Tree? Because this is what we're going to have as the result. It has three layers and let's dive deep into that. So the first one, the trunk of our tree is our goals. So like clear, measurable business goals, what our company is trying to achieve on a high level, the direction it is going to. So our goals may have various states is like what we suggest, but you can change them up to you. There are also dates like when do we plan to start working on this goal? When do we plan to finish it? Responsible humans or creatures, whatever you work with. And probably this is it. Also, every goal inside will have a detailed explanation. Hopefully, what is this goal about? Like why have we chosen it? What has to be accomplished? And of course, every goal will have a set of opportunities. Okay, what can be done potentially to reach this goal? So let's go to the second part. So we also have here opportunities. Opportunities are like branches of the tree. They're streaming from the goal and they will have some leaves on the top. We'll talk about this a bit later. So usually there's like customer needs, pain points we want to focus on, use cases. So, and potentially if we address them and we solve them or we reach them, it will help us to um, accomplish the goal we have set. So definitely not every opportunity has to be accepted. Most of them can like live in our opportunity bank, like, and we will address them at some point. So it makes sense to prioritize them, to decide what do you want to focus on. So as you see, it also has multiple states, which you can also customize and you can, you're free to apply any prioritization framework you prefer, like RICE, ICE, Moscow, WSGF, Fiber's framework where, with a feedback, check out our YouTube channel for the webinar. And also where opportunity has kind of self-relation because opportunity can be nested. There can be like a big opportunity, like improve onboarding experience, but it's quite a big one. So we can decompose it into small, uh, into set of smaller ones and deliver, I don't know, 6 to 70 percent of it. Then check the results and decide, do we plan to uh, deliver everything or we are good with that? So this is why we have these kind of relations. Yeah, uh, opportunity serves a particular goal and it can be also decomposed into solutions and solutions are our leaves. So this is uh, our execution part. What do we have to do to address the opportunities to reach the goal? So this is like something that also may have uh, states, uh, which may also have dates when they plan to start working on that. Like uh, people who are just not responsible for that, but who are working on that. And yeah, of course, there will be also, oh wait, there will be also a PRD inside. So you didn't have to switch between like documentation tools like Confluence or Notion or Google Docs uh, and your execution one. And of course, here we also have that solutions can be nested, like bigger solution can be decomposed into smaller ones, but you're also free to change this part, to turn solution into epics and features, into stories, or to connect this strategical template with a software development template, for example. This is absolutely up to you. Now let's check out how this information may look like. So right now I opened what we call whiteboard. This is like a mirror, but a bit more limited and powerful at the same time. So here you can see really the structure, how it looks like. And you can also open any of those cards like this one. And as you see, it's a real card. Like uh, you don't have to first to draw something and then to move it from one tool to another, like from Figma into Fibery, everything lives in a single place. So it can either visualize the structure you have right now, or you can create something right here. Let's try to do this. So we can create, I don't know, you opportunity, ding. 
let's even connect them and what can you do next is that you can convert it into the opportunity and ta-da I have a new opportunity here we can open it we can add more details as you see it is um, linked to the goal already if you open a goal this new opportunity will be here so you can use such kind of boards for the brainstorming sessions for example like drop ideas here and then convert them into opportunities if you want to of course whiteboard is not the only visualization type we can have you can also have tables because like everyone knows what table is and our tables support the hierarchy so right now we see goal on the top under it we see opportunities which are grouped by the parent like in this case and under opportunities we see solutions which can be potentially also grouped you can also choose board view like if you prefer something like this here for example we can see opportunities and grouped by the goals and on them we can see the solutions you can choose like how does it look like but i think the large one is the most explanatory one and of course there are there is a timeline so it makes sense to plan something on the timeline especially if this is an execution you can like drag and drop you can create something new from here you can even check out the backlog so there you will find items which doesn't have dates set for now and like yep here we see our solutions grouped by the opportunity and grouped by the goal what else do we have here we can of course use the ai so there must be like a real use case how do you want oh wait not this one maybe yep um, how will ai help you so mm, you can use it either in documents or for example in automations so here i created a button which is called ai suggest opportunities and it, it is running quite simple prompt so it is about the fact that ai has to check the description of this particular goal and then based on this description generate potential opportunities so it's like uh, something that can be done before the brainstorming session so i click on this button and there is a separate field which is called ai suggestion and it as you see suggested to you various opportunities that you can apply you can go through them and if you think that something is already very nice and cool let's do like this i don't know conduct marketing campaigns amazing oh wait so what you can do you can highlight something that you liked and you will turn it into opportunity so um it's also a real card i think when i say ta-da I, I can do even something like this Ta-da! okay and as you see we just like created something from text and it was linked automatically to the goal so it doesn't matter where you add the information you can add it from the uh, text you can add it from the whiteboard you can add it from the board from the table it will appear everywhere and you can also think of i don't know original and unexpected ways of using the ai like suggest opportunities or maybe analyze and tell me what I'm missing because you can like run AI um, in the text as well. And what is also very helpful if you have a lot of data, like imagine you have hundreds of opportunities because they come across the time from your teammates. AI can also help you to find duplicates, like whether you have similar opportunities or not. By the way, if you want to collect opportunities, ideas from your teammates, you can use forms. So you can create a form you can say okay i want to collect opportunities decide like uh, let's call it suggest new opportunity okay let them choose the goal and this has to be well, it doesn't have to be obligatory in fact like maybe if someone has an opportunity and an idea and then later you can decide which goal may it serve because it can like for the future uh, what is this goal about files yep we don't need solutions we don't need state we don't need sub opportunities so that will be enough and then you can just share this link with your teammates okay here's how it will look like 
so they can choose but this is optional they can put the name of this opportunity and what it has to be uh, about you can share it with your customers you can share it with your teammates and then before the brainstorm you will have a nice collection a case set of um, opportunities this template will definitely benefit from Fiverr's framework uh, of the feed of the prioritization based on the feedback so if you want to learn more you will find uh, uh, this information here inside thank you so much for your time and hope to see you